Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. This tutorial will look at using the Choose function in Excel. Now the Choose function will choose an action or a value from a list of options based on an index number selection. Now that may not mean too much at the moment, but if we break it down, that what means to us right now that if I wanted to sum one of these quarters quarter one two three or four I can make a selection in cell E2 which Excel would classify as an index number index number four being in there at the moment we would relate to that as a quarter and I can get the choose function to sum the required quarter based on that user's selection now because of the way that the choose function works by using this index number it makes it excellent to use with form controls in Excel. Um, here we're just going to keep it easy. We're going to type a value in that cell. But because form controls such as option buttons and combo boxes, they return an index number as the result from user selection, it makes it perfect to work with this choose function. I have other videos that show demonstrations of that use. Okay, but here in cell E3, we'll begin. So we'll type equals, sum, and an opening bracket. So I'm looking to sum one of them quarters. Now where the sum function is asking you know, which numbers we want to add, we're gonna type choose, and an opening bracket there. So we're gonna get the choose function to decide you know, which values should be added. First thing it'll ask is what index number? What index number is it going to do to select which value to add? The index number will be E2. Whatever is typed in E2, that's the one we're looking to add. I'll put in a comma, and it will just ask us for a list of values. So value 1 will be this range, B6 to B10. Comma, value 2 will be that range. Value 3 will be the quarter 3 range. A value 4 would be the quarter 4 range. So basically this is going to look in E2, see that it says, for example, 3. There it will just get the third value from its list, which is D6 to D10, meaning we want to add that range. Nice and simple when you break it down that way. We need a couple of brackets on the end there. One to close the choose function. The second one to close that sum function. We'll press enter. And our choose is making sure that we sum the quarter one values because index number one. But we'll do type three, that value changes to add up number three. And I can see 388 at the bottom there in that status bar. Uh, so now that is correct. Number four is 317. We can see that down there. So that's using the choose function to create a, a kind of like a dynamic sum, really. Uh, base itself on user selection, which is fantastic. I like my spreadsheets to to be engaging and to allow a user to interact with them easily without necessarily you know, strong Excel skills. And here somebody just needs to choose a quarter and, and this sum function will react on it. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our tips and tricks at computergargar.com.